And here is Florida's tallest waterfall. Da 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 It actually goes kind of deep with a Florida famous sinkhole down there. That's a little too much for me too. Trust me. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like 73 feet down there. Because of the sinkhole. Up to here. But yeah, there we go. Falling Waters State Park here in Florida. Bet you should come check this out. Put it on your Florida to-do list. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. All wonky vids. Ant here with you. Today I am in Florida's Falling Waters State Park. Now, this is just a few miles off the I-10 and about 60, 70 miles west of of Tallahassee. So, pretty close. And if you're doing a panhandle drive or an I-10 drive, it's definitely on your way if you're going west. So, here we are at the park. I'm at the falls right now. I'll go back in time and kind of get us started. But, um, we're going to go check out this park. So, why don't you come along with me? Okay, and here is the main sign to the main waterfall at Fallen Water State Park, developed in 1963. This park is at an elevation of 322 feet, which means it's only about like, you know, 20 feet lower than the highest point in Florida, which was 345, if you uh, remember my little video from the high point, highest point in Florida on Britain Hill. But yeah, this is the main area. You got um, some beautiful trees here, and the main parking lot, as well as a covered picnic pavilion. First come, first serve. Alright, let's go check out the rest of the park. Here's a little sign with some information and the different trails in this park. You can go ahead and pause it if you want a closer look. Little butterfly garden on the beginning of the trail down to the waterfall. And as you can see, it goes uh, right downhill because we're kind of going into a sinkhole here. So let's check it out. And here's a look at the falls from the upper observation. Yeah, nice just to uh, see all this vegetation and everything around this little sinkhole that this waterfall goes into. Wow. And you're under this uh, little canopy of trees here. That's cool too. A nice little informational sign here about Florida's highest waterfall. There is a dirt path that goes to the lake right next to the waterfall. So if you want to go on a hike, you can do that. And here is a walk down to the lake amongst all these beautiful pine trees. Just some absolutely stunning views amongst these pine trees. Here is the lake area if you would like to go for a swim here at Fallen Waters State Park, included in your $5 park pass. Nice place to cool off if you need to in this hot Florida sun. There's also plenty of spots to fish here, both at the lake and the creek over to the side. Oh yeah, just beautiful here. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that little look here at Falling Waters State Park. You saw that it has the tallest waterfall here in Florida, along with this beautiful lake that's behind me there, and several trails that'll take you amongst these tall, long-leaf pine, I believe they are, because this is actually um, 
temperate forest considered because it's over 300 foot in elevation far up north that we're no longer in the tropical forest zone so that's pretty cool to know right and now you know so if you enjoyed this video make sure to click that little thumbs up button right below there and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and I'd appreciate that and come along with me on all these adventures so if you enjoy time amongst nature maybe a dip in the lake checking out a, or chasing waterfalls then you know what I say Falling Waters State Park 100% recommend and as we're going out here I'll give you a little look at the Falling Waters State Park little map here along with looks like to be the campground with electricity and water hookups and that would be like right across this hill over here on the other side of the lake it's one of the tallest hills you can camp on in Florida pretty sweet